뜬다 있어야 돼. 하이, 웰컴 투 빈스니스 This time when my mother-in-law came here from India, she brought a lot of cut pieces to make dresses for Isa. It's been a long time since I've done any sewing. So to start with, first I did this dress which came out okay and this was really a confidence booster. As a second project, I thought of converting an old oversized nighty of mine, which I used to wear when I was pregnant, to a kurti of size as shown. But this one is comfortable to wear even now, so I have decided to do the conversion of even older one first. It's also a kind of a upcycling project. Before starting, as an energy booster, I'm going to make a smoothie for myself as well as for my family. As I don't like adding sugar for my smoothie, I'm soaking bitter dates in one cup of hot water. Into a mixer jar, I have taken two ripe sliced bananas, two tablespoons cocoa powder, two to three tablespoons thick homemade yogurt. Adding soaked dates along with the water and grinding it to a fine smooth paste. The texture seems really smooth and I'm going to add 1 cup of cold milk and blend it again. I have added more milk to make my smoothie thinner and some sugar to my kids smoothie to make it sweeter for them. Back to my sewing project, first I'm going to iron my kurti to remove any creases. This is not meant to be a sewing tutorial since I'm not a professional in it. This video is just to give you an idea on how even a beginner with basic sewing skills and a sewing machine can give a new look to their old dresses. Here I'm removing that neck with frills and I'm planning to give a plain U-shaped neck. I have folded the kurti and nighty lengthwise and laid it one on top of the other to cut neck and armhole. I like to pin it all over before I start cutting and leave half inch extra in the neck part and one inch extra in the shoulder part. Now 
Similarly, I cut the armhole and the body. I've separated the front and back part and increasing the depth of front neck by half inch. Here I'm making a small cut in the front shoulders to differentiate between the front and back. Cutting the sleeves next. Cutting part is done, now coming to the swaying part. First I'm joining the shoulders. Cutting 1 inch wide by a strips for the neck and joining them. I'm doing the neck here with bias strips. Here I have kept right sides of the bias strips and neck part together and stitched it all around. Then fold the other end of the bias strip inside and stitch it all around again. And that finishes my neck. This is the finished look and I'm pretty happy with it. Hola, ma. Is that a photo of me?